welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio tutorial. Today, I will be teaching you guys how to make a health system. So the first thing we want to do is go down to our, our Explorer and go to the starter GUI, hit the plus, and a screen GUI. I would recommend naming this something on topic, so I'm going to name it health. And then we're going to add a frame. And then we are going to set the frame, we're going to go into the frame's properties and set its position value here to 0 0.9. So it goes down there. And then in the frame, we are going to add a text label. And so this text label now is here where the frame is. And we're going to copy, we're going to use, say, do control C. And we can copy the size and we're going to paste that into the frame so that they're the same size. And then, uh, um, so we can make like a little bit of a decorative thing. I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to set the background transparency to one. Um, and then we can go down here to like the text and such and we can do all sorts of stuff like, yeah. So I'm going to do text scaled. Go to my source, my source Sans Pro, and change it to Fredoka One because that looks nice. And then I'm going to click Text Label again after I unselect both of them, and I'm going to go to the bottom. And I would recommend doing the same thing as me because it will help you see if your code is working or not. After we when we start coding, you're going to type zero forward slash 100, so it's going to look like this. And for the basics of the GUI, that should be it. It doesn't need to look exactly like mine, you just need to make sure you have a text label that is similar to mine. Alright, and then next, we are going to add a script inside of here, and we're, it's a local script, and we're going to name it health script. Alright, and then if you press control A, you can select everything and hit backspace. And now you are having a fresh code. So first we need to define some variables. The first thing we need to do is we need to get the service known as the run service. So we can type local run service. Don't make sure not to misspell it. Um, local run service equals game get service runs run service run service. So I might have just went a little fast there, but what I did is I um, made a variable called local run service, so it's called the run service. And what I did with that variable is I set it to um, the run service. So we we get the run service by saying game, which is referencing the game as a whole, get service, where we're looking through every service in the game, and then I find the run service, which is what's in the quotes here. And then on the next line, we're going to try and find our frame. So we're going to do local frame equals script dot parent script is the script we're writing in and parent is the um, health GUI we're gonna type wait for child frame oh I don't like those quotes um that's just a me thing frame and then on the next one we're gonna type local text because we're gonna be getting our text label now equals frame wait for child text label now this, these variables, as long as you know what they're called, they don't have to be called frame text. Heck, even the run service, it just, this makes more sense. Um, but always use wait for child, not find first child, not dot text label, wait for child. Because this code that we're about to write, it relies on running with the game starting. Um, so you have to just wait for the child, in a sense. The child is just going down. All right, and then on the next line, we're going to go one line down, and we're going to write local player equals game dot players dot local player. Now, you, this is just getting the player that we're trying to find the health of. Um, so, like, you can only, you can do game dot players inside of a server script. This is a local script you're writing in, but you can only get a local player inside the local script. So, we're just making a variable called player, and we're putting it in the game dot players. Next, we need to find the character. We're going to do local character equals player dot character. So this is just getting the character of the player, which is what um, you see in Roblox itself. And then on the next line, we're going to do local humanoid equals character. Oh, <laughs> character. Wait for child. Now you have to do wait for child. This is very 
this, if you don't do wait for child, if you do anything else, it will not work. Um, it's, it's, it's just because we need to specifically wait for the child. And then we're going to put our quotes and we're going to write humanoid inside of that. And then we're going to go down by two lines and we're going to write run service dot render stepped connect function parentheses. Then we're going to hit enter and that'll create an end. So what we just did is we called the run service and we said dot render stepped. This basically references, um, so it basically runs whenever the game is happening. It runs continuously. And then it connects it to the function which we we're about to write. So that's why we have connect function. And then we have to declare one more variable. It is local health equals humanoid dot health. So we're just this is just a, this is a um, number. Um, the number so Roblox defaultly um, has a health system ranging from 0 to 100. Now, we can change that. I'm not going to go into that, but we're just basing this off of 100. This can, this will work with anything, but um, the next part here is now we just, since this is running continuously, we have text. So that's up here, our variable text label. And then we're going to have dot, oh, wrong, wrong line, dot text. So we're changing the text. It looks kind of dumb, but, you know, dot text. Then we're going to equals math dot round. You may be like, oh no, what happened? Why are we using math? Well, we need to use the math dot round function because when we do this, it will work without it, but it has a ton of decimal, like it has a decimal and then like a ton of zeros after it. So it's it for it's better to use math dot round and then inside the parentheses we're gonna write health just the variable that we called earlier and then we're gonna write dot dot and then this is just gonna make a string appear after this and we're gonna do quotation marks forward slash 100 now if you were just here for the health bar this is good this is gonna work but if you're here for the full system we need to go to the next line and we're gonna write it if health and then we're going to do is less than or equal to 25 then then we go to the next line and we're going to write humanoid dot walk speed equals five now this will set the humanoid walk speed equal to five this will work but after you have 25 health it will keep it will stay five so to fix this we're going to go to the next line and we're going to write else and then here we're going to write the same thing as above, humanoid dot walk speed. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to equal 16. 16 is the default Roblox walk speed. Um, so if your game has something different, then put that here. And you can change these values. You can change this as much as you want. But I found 25 was pretty good. Um, okay, so now we can test this. So in the test, you will see... Here on the bottom it says 100 comma 100 or forward slash 100 when in game in studio it says 0 comma 100. But now to show you that the health itself works we can go to the toolbox and let's just find a kill brick. So to search kill brick um, I will probably make a tutorial on how to make these in the future but for now I don't. So I'm just going gonna to go in the code and I'm going to do let's just do equals. I don't know. We'll do equals five so you guys can see it working. All right. And then, um, so yeah, if you guys already have this, I mean, you know, it's pretty simple. But um, let's go over here. And now we have our kill brick, so it will go like that. And then here we are. We're walking slower now. And our health is changing. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Um, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me and we're still close to 300 subscribers. So yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.